How does this story challenge Jesus' followers like you and me, especially in times like these? I think it calls us to ask some questions in prayerful silence. The Quakers call these queries, questions asked in prayerful silence. So here's one. So many things are not right in the world right now. Have I allowed hopelessness to overwhelm me? Do I let cynicism stop me from speaking up against injustice? Here's a question as a prayer. Oh, Holy Spirit, bring to my attention one thing that's not right. Am I drawn to this because I have experienced this injustice, this anguish, firsthand? Has this hurt someone dear to me? Is there soul empathy in this one thing that you are drawing to my attention? Another is, prayerfully ask, what group or groups are already at work to make this right? In the days ahead, expect to find allies by asking that prayer a number of times. Who are the allies? Oh God, help me see. Keep your soul eyes and your soul ears open. Do a little research online. We are rarely called to completely start new initiatives. We can join our life energy and our soul empathy with others who are speaking up and speaking out against injustice and inaction. Jesus' prophetic act in the temple called out the violence done by everyday, done to everyday faithful people by the temple money system. This led to his death within a week. And God is still speaking through that action in the temple to change, and God is speaking through it to change our world still. 2,000 years later, a police officer held his knee against George Floyd's neck for, for nine minutes, crushing his breath. Joe Biden visited with the family. George Floyd's six-year-old daughter, Gianna Floyd, whispered in the former vice president's ear, Daddy changed the world. God is still speaking through the widespread, peaceful, and persistent protests, including the Black Lives Matter protests at the United Church on Saturdays from 9 to 10 in the morning. Congressman John Lewis said, sometimes you have to get in the way. Sometimes you have to make noise, speaking up and speaking out against injustice and inaction. That is the truest form of empathy. Not just feeling, but doing. Not just for ourselves and our kids, but for everyone and for all of our kids. Is God speaking to you? Urging you to unleash your soul empathy. Amen and Ashe.